Hello. Uh, kind of a last minute thing that I'm doing, but I'm here in my Buick. Um, I'm at some local little car wash in Blooming Prairie, Minnesota. I have no idea. Oh, okay. So it is a Futura Revolution machine. Um, I don't know that I've even heard of one of these before. Um, uh, but yeah, winter has started here in southern Minnesota, so I figured I'd check this place out and see what this is all about. Um, this, I think, is like the only automatic car wash in the, in the town of Blooming Prairie. Um, I'm waiting for it to tell me to stop here. This guy in front of me is just leaving. All right, here we go. Turn the car off. I purchased the second from the bottom just because I only wanted a high pressure rinse. Um, it looks like this has, it looks like two sets of oscillating sprayers on the bottom and then three on the top. Also, I do apologize, but there is no sunroof in this car. Um, I'm coming back from a class in Austin, actually. Ugh. So let's see what $6 gets us here. <laughs> I'd imagine there's only one pass of... Ignore the mess in my back seat. I'd imagine there's only one pass of pre-soak. Oh, no, there's a second one. Huh. That's pretty surprising. And then it'll probably get noisy here in a second. Yep. It's rocking the car around already. Let's see what this thing is capable of. Oh wow, they oscillate really quick. Honestly, it feels like the car is bouncing. <laughs> oh yeah, they're going back and forth really quick. I don't know if I've ever been in one of these, so I guess we'll see how it does. Let's see the sprayers. funny the it doesn't feel like it's all that powerful if I'm being honest um or rather it doesn't sound like it's all that powerful but I can feel the pressure oh I bet this has those uh, nozzles that tilt back and forth and that's how it cleans the back of cars I know of a few magic wands, uh, a few magic wand machines that do that sort of thing. The whole thing seems quite aggressive, but like I said, it doesn't sound like the pressure is terribly high. I'm not sure how rare these machines are. I do know that these were supposedly produced in the Twin Cities area. I don't know if they're still made. You'd need to ask someone more fluent than I am. It's our third pass at the high pressure rinse. Oh my goodness. The rocking back and forth is quite extreme. Oh, looks like we are switching to our spot-free rinse, which does appear to be low pressure. It actually said that on the sign, which I found interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's 
get our car turned back on. And I'd imagine, yep, okay. So let's get moving. Dryer time does not appear to be very generous. It's only 70, or no, it was 80 seconds, so it's actually not that bad. Uh, not doing the best job. It did get all of the ice off of my hood, which is mostly why I wanted to come in here in the first place. How they do on the side. Yeah. Oh, that's a big dip coming out of here. Wow. See how it does on the back. Yeah. Now it's in fact pushing water back up the windshield. <laughs> one second off pretty solid machine um, the only negative like I said is the dryer didn't work very well um, other than that that wasn't bad uh, for eight bucks considering it gave me three passes of the high powered rinse along with uh, two passes of pre-soak it appears to be a pretty well-maintained little place for a town the size of this. Um, so yeah, that's my contribution to my uh, very, very small collection of car wash videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching.